Hi, church. Pastor Clark, just want to touch base with you and uh, just let you know that Mary Kay and I are praying for you. Because I've just kind of been reflecting on, uh, you know, the events of the last several weeks uh, with the coronavirus and certainly as we are being told to shelter in place. I just wanted to let you know how much we really do appreciate you. And I thought this verse in Philippians chapter one would really be a great place for us to start. I am going to attempt to give you some content, digital content, encouragement, challenge uh, in the days ahead, probably not every day, uh, because I still have a lot of things that I need to work on uh, here in the office. However, uh, I do want to try to get something to you, and I want to try to get other people in the church to give you some content as well, some encouragement. And so if you're watching this and you would like to uh, be in part of that content and uh, encouragement and challenge. Love for you to do that. Let me add this before I just get into a really brief devotion today. I'd just like to let you know that uh, we're doing what we can to encourage you and to reach out to people in the church and even those beyond the church walls, really. And so the elders should be contacting you, reaching out to you and uh, giving you information that you may not have. We are trying to utilize uh, social media, Facebook, YouTube. Of course, we're available by phone, by text. And so you can certainly call us, connect with us, uh, use Facebook Messenger as well. So if you'll get in touch with us, we'll get in touch back with you. But the elders are supposed to uh, be getting in touch with you. And just letting you know what's coming up this Wednesday night, we're not going to be having service. Here we will have something that will take place at seven o'clock uh, so you can get your kids around we have a great little devotional by Susie for the kids uh, I'll be sharing a 15 minute or so devotional just to kind of keep us in the track of you know checking in on Wednesday nights and I also have something for the youth that I think will be helpful as well good to see you guys today look forward to seeing you face to face soon and so let me just uh, show you what we have here in Philippians chapter one. Paul's writing to this great church in Philippi who have been helping him and ministering to him and uh, helping supply his needs, really. Joining with them, uh, they were great givers to the church in Jerusalem because there was a need. And he writes these words. I have them highlighted here on the screen. Philippians chapter one, verse three. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Wow, those are some really powerful and amazing words. And Paul is letting the church know of his affection for them because they have partnered together. He come to them with this great need of the church in Jerusalem and let them know, listen, they have a need and there's a famine in the land and can you help? And the church in Philippi, like we, we want to help. And even later in the book, he talks about how they helped, even though it cost them dearly. But because of his love for them and their love for him, that need was met. And I just felt like it would be really appropriate for me just to share with you that Mary Kay and I love you. And when we think of you, we think of you the same way. We thank God every time we remember you. Thankful for what you do. Thankful for how you partner with us. First and Simply God Church wouldn't be the great church that it is without you. Your faithfulness, your serving, uh, your willingness to honor the Lord. And so we just say thank you. Now I look at that verse four, talks about that partnership or the, the joy. And then verse five, the partnership, the partnership of the gospel from the first day until now. And, you know, Paul writes these words. And I, I just think it's fascinating that he says that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ. Boy, that's really something that we need to remember, isn't it? That even though we may be in a bit of a struggle right now, that God will continue until the day of Christ Jesus. He's going to continue to work in our lives and continue to change us, to transform us, to help us to be all that he created us to be. Well, that's our time for today. Let me just encourage you, church. Hang in there. God's got you. Nothing's come against you that he cannot take care of. Until we meet face to face, God bless you, and we hope to see you soon. Have a great day.